smart. This is a fantastic machine. You know that though, because we've tested it before. This is a 2020 Audi TT RS. Why are we back in this car? Well, I mean, first off, why not? It's awesome. But second of all, I wanted to take a look at the TT in general to see what we're about to say goodbye to. The TT burst into the scene back in the 90s and it was an immediate hit and a styling sensation. It was also an entertaining machine to drive right out of the gate. And nothing's changed from that respect except the fact that it's only gotten better looking, I think, and more entertaining to drive. This version right here is the culmination. This is the latest TTRS, which means it has a two and a half liter inline five cylinder turbocharged engine under the hood, making 400 horsepower backed up by a seven speed gearbox and sending power out to all four wheels as dictated by the brains somewhere buried under the bodywork. If anybody's paying attention, since 2019, the updates include a revised front bumper, side sills, and a reworked rear wing. For the record, I prefer the older bumper and the older wing. The wing is a little bit too much, and I like the more aggressive front bumper from the first version of this latest TTRS. But this one still looks good, especially with the optional black optic trim. Of course, this one costs $77,000, which is not cheap, but the car is fun and good and I like it. I'm not wearing a microphone right now because I wanted the GoPro to pick up the engine noises as well. So if that's a problem, I'll find out when I'm editing. It should be okay, but we'll see what's up. Feel free to complain in the comments. Also, I never do this, but apparently I need to start doing this. If you're watching this video and you're liking it, why don't you like it and subscribe? Yep, I just had to do the real deal YouTube crap. So, you know, have fun with that. Back to the car! The handling is fantastic. The throttle response is excellent. The brakes are great. The adaptive damping suspension is wonderful as well. I have drive select set to individual so that every setting, engine, exhaust, steering, transmission, all that stuff is set to dynamic, which is the sporty version for Audi, except suspension, I leave in comfort. Now the funny thing is, you don't need to spend this much on a TT to have a good time. Even the standard TT is an entertaining machine, and I'm going to demonstrate that here. Real quick though, we had a bunch of awesome footage of this 20th anniversary Audi TT and its wonderful gray paint, and the card corrupted, and it's all gone. So what you're going to see is automaker provided b-roll and i apologize now back to me blathering on about that car so where are we today well this is the 2019 audi tt and this one here it's the end of the line this one specifically though is a special one this is the 20th anniversary audi tt audi is marking the occasion of two decades of Audi TT goodness. So what does your $50,000 plus dollars get you? Well, it gets you a smartly styled luxury coupe powered by a two liter TFSI engine backed up by a seven speed S-Tronic gearbox and Quattro all wheel drive. Just 999 examples are being built globally. Here in the States, you can have a shot at one of the 40 coupes or 40 roadsters shipped to our shore. This car is number 471 of the run. 19-inch wheels are meant to mimic the look of the OG rollers, though I think they could have thickened up the spokes a bit to achieve that more properly. I like the Audi rings ahead of the rear wheel openings and the OLED taillights taken from the TTRS. Inside, I'm definitely a fan of the color combo throwback. This moccasin brown leather is a nod to the OG baseball glove interior you could get on first-gen TTs. On the outside, you can pick between arrow gray or nano gray. The nano gray is meant to remind you of that great Nimbus gray color offered a while back. The base price is $54,000 for the coupe and just a tick more for the Roadster. More importantly though, it gets you a wonderfully put together sporting coupe. The chassis is excellent. The brakes feel great. The steering is fantastic. This is an engaging vehicle to drive even in its 
lesser trimmed version. This is not an S, this is not an RS, this is just a TT. Am I gonna miss the TT? Sure, it's a cool car. I hate to see any cool car go away. However, I do have hope that this will be reborn as a new Audi e-tron sporting coupe variant. That would be very cool. Bring this back as an electric vehicle with a low center of gravity with a smaller battery pack down there to have some electric fun. That could be really, really good. Audi's gonna be learning a lot from its e-tron and e-tron GT and more e-tron models to come. So hopefully the TT comes back to life as an EV. For now though, today, I'm gonna enjoy the gasoline version one. Back to this car, or the TT in general. So we will be bidding a fond farewell to the TT, and it will be reborn as an electric vehicle, and I'm okay with that. It's going to be good. EVs are fun as well. I'll miss the noise, certainly, but the driving dynamics should be excellent. Audi wouldn't put it out if it wasn't. It should be an entertaining machine that can help this planet a little bit in some ways eventually as EVs begin to make a bigger impact on the world around us. Listen, I love V8s. I love burning tires. I love cars that drink gasoline and spill oil and do all of that wonderful, fun, anachronistic stuff that is fading away. I love that. I still, old, I still drive old cars. I'm going to drive old cars and loud cars until they put me in the ground. The cars or my age and health. Either one, whichever comes first. But I can also embrace and enjoy the coming onslaught of electric vehicles. I find a lot of them to be entertaining to drive and they're great for daily driver use. They're just nice machines on a daily basis. I still will own a 68 Charger before I leave this world. Maybe, unless the prices keep going insane like they are. But I will have something that drinks fuel in the garage, but there might be an electric stable mate next to it in the not too distant future, and I think I'll enjoy, and I think I'll enjoy driving both of them. For now though, I'm going to grab a paddle and cane away. Click. Let's get serious for a second here. Cause I'm a precious boy. Hello there. How are you? Are you good? Good. Come along on a vehicular adventure. Uh, all right, real quick, before we go away, I'm gonna show you launch control because why not? horrible angle, but that's what we're working with today. Cars in sport, dynamic, all that stuff. Let's change this. St stabilization control, one press in sport, foot hard on the brake. Pretty cool. G meter read a G on the way back. So there you go, fun stuff. Launch control. Yay!